Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Hoff Bergman with the 1.4 update. Tonight, we're going to be messing around on the map, talking about what is new, showing off some of the things that are new with the 1.4 update. There will be, over the next several days, dedicated videos coming out related to what is new. But for those of you who can muster watching the live stream, you get early information. For those that can't wait or can't uh, can't spend the time to watch the live stream in long stream format, well, then you'll just have to wait for the shorter abbreviated videos dropping over the next several days. In the pre-show, we were loading up some chicken meat. We're going to haul that chicken meat over here to sell. And then we'll start talking about what else is new. Miss Hillbilly, welcome. J.O. J.O. Great. Oh, my gosh. J.O., what's up? Yes. What? Well, the original chickens make eggs. The non-original chickens, the new ones, well, they, they are just for meat. All right. Uh, supermarket. Uh, let's 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 go to the super. Well, no. I think the parlor is closed. We'll see when they open. Genetic, what is up? Yeah, they're closed. Let's see when they open. Ah, uh, they open at ten. All right, we can make it ten. Open the door. So quickly, while we are waiting for them to open the door, we now have hops. Hops have been added to the map as a crop. We can't plant hops. They are basically up here and here alone, but we do have the ability of harvesting crops or harvesting hops and then further processing those hops down here at our hop processing facility. Looks like they've already processed all the hops that we have made already. And man, oh man, hops are profitable. Indeed they are. Look at this, look at this, I already got I got a ton of hops in here. But we will talk about that later. Time to sell the chickens. There we go, $500 worth of a chicken. So we can sell the new chickens, which make chicken meat, aptly named. Or we could still process the old chickens, the OG chickens, but they make poultry meat. Not to be confused with chicken meat, right? So the butcher and the um, slaughterhouse will make poultry meat out of chickens, OG chickens, 
and ducks. Whereas the facility up at the large chicken coop area will only produce poultry. No, will only produce chicken meat. Anybody used to working? Still working on making me my chickens? I think you are. Tonight. Oh, that is not a rumor. We've talked about it here several times. What I didn't talk about was also the desire to, uh, to have buildable animal areas. And we kind of have that now with the extendable pastures mod. I need to run up here and get this flatbed. Well, Scooter, it's coming at what we think is the end of FS22. Right? We don't know if it's really the end. We just think and hope it's the end. Right, there's no new farm sim until there is a new farm sim. Of course, all that might change this week. You never know. Now that we have this, we're gonna head back to the farm. I've been wanting to do a new and noteworthy video on it, but by the time I get around to doing one of those, it'll be it'll be old news. Right, because Friday we had El Dorado, the South American map drop that's part of the Case IH Connect Modding collaboration, as well as several South American Case IH configuration trackers. And then Friday we also had Hoff Bergman drop. And well, that's what we've been busy with since then. Something else that's new is this farm shop. With our lovely, lovely daughter, our neighbor, our wife, or girlfriend, whatever she is in your role play. She's here man in the farm shop. We're gonna be able to sell products that we can make here at this farm shop. Although it does not take chicken meat. So I tried to bring chicken meat here earlier and it didn't take it. But it's kind of neat how this works is you're going to bring product in here it's going to be displayed on the shelves and the coolers and then over time the product's going to air quote sell and you're going to see it go away we also now have the ability of doing potatoes at our allotment gardens and our other gardens. So we have potatoes, carrots, onions, cauliflower, cucumbers, strawberries, lettuce, and tomatoes. We have a placeable composter. Okay. So this is going to accept organic material. So we can, let, let's say we just put it right here. 
boom, boom, chakalaka, chakalaka, boom. And organic material, let me get my notes out. Organic material consists of A, grass, eggs, strawberries, grapes, lettuce, tomatoes, cucumbers, cauliflower, potatoes, apples, onions, manure, organic waste, and compost. All can go in this facility. Now, if you put organic waste in, then it will slowly, slowly convert over to compost, just like a real life composter. If you put compost back in here, then it simply just stores it. Something else that may or may not be new with 1.4, because quite honestly, I don't remember it being here, or I don't really remember looking, is we have a hose system hookup. And this one is for, as the description says, the large manure hoses. And the way this is supposed to be done is it says you put this in the trigger, and then you're going to be able to use the LSFM hose system to basically hook up hoses to this and thus draw product out. We also have the cam lock version of that, which is going to be used for the smaller blue hoses. Here we're going to place this, let's say, in a trigger location that isn't already set up for the hoses. And then we'll be able to draw liquid out. Right? It's like this, but this one's already set up. This one over here is already set up. So it's a pretty neat idea. We've had this placeable racks for IBC containers and big bags. And then this is a small hay drying rack. You bring small amounts of grass, 6,000 liters of grass can naturally be dried on this rack and then you'll get it out. So it's just placeable, pop it down wherever you want it. Pretty neato. Down at the allotment garden, or what I call the community garden, we have a composter pre-placed. Right next to our water storage tank. So here we are around the back, around the back of the brewery. The brewery is now also has a cell point for hop bales, right? So if you own the brewery, you know that in phase three, you basically add hops to your wort in order to process the beer. We've been doing that for a couple of versions of Hoff Bergman. But now that we can make our own hops bales, we can now sell our hops bales here, regardless if we own the brewery or not. Because as I have seen and found, we can make a crap ton of hops bales, a load of hops bales with next to no effort. And on easy, they sell for very, very good money. Gillette John, yes. Although, if you've ever played the game Ostrov, Ostrov, man, I need to get back to that. I love that game. Ostrov is like a city builder for, uh, for like, I don't know. the Middle Ages. <laughs> and they had uh, basically the same thing. Grass dryers that were up there like that. Um, yeah, I need to turn left. Turn left at the fort. So this particular trailer is what we use to harvest our hop vines. This is new with the 1.4 update. It's included with the download pack. 
and it's very very simple to harvest our hops we're gonna care for the hops just like we would grapes and olives so we have the ability of mulching between the rows and subsoiling fertilizing herbiciding the hops And the way we're going to harvest these is super, super, super simple. We're going to unfold our harvesting trailer here. We're going to turn it on. And now we're just going to run down the row. Try not to get too close because then we'll get stuck. And it's that simple. And the capacity of this trailer is set such that we can go up and down so two rows of hops will fill it up of course if you get too close then like you get all you get all hung up in the the cables ropes or whatever is used that these hops grow on Then once we get this loaded up, I'm going to show you it's really cool unloading. In fact, it's just like we unload our cotton modules with the uh, the cotton trailers. And then there's another super cool feature at the hop processor that allows you to basically send the hop bales directly to the hop storage so we turn it off we fold it back up and now we have 69 liters of hops or hop vines Then we take back to our processing facility. Oh, Kenneth, not a problem. Not a problem. With respect to uh, putting that up. You know, I'm kind of old school in the way I think. And... And, you know, I think, well, I've already put a video out on that. Why do, why do I need to, why do I need to cover it again? Right, I already covered it once. Is that not good enough? No, apparently it's not. And, um, well, I would rather watch one video that has lots of information in it than have to watch lots of videos that have next to no information in them. But, it seems like society is different these days. And instead, societies want to watch a bunch of nothing. And in the end, you really don't know much of anything. Because trust me, I've watched some supposedly tutorials online on how to do things. And at the end of the video, I'm left thinking, what did I just watch? And what did I just not learn? Because I have no idea what what was said nor nor am i any smarter for watching this part of it is i think folks thoughts that they have to chop up the video in such a way that there are like literally zero zero fractions of a second of idle time and for me that's just way too much information way too quickly so we unload this like i said just like the cotton modules and then when it gets down here on the ground, it just kind of forms a heap. Now let's turn this thing on. You see the hop vines are going to produce hops and organic waste. Really cool animation. It's going to grab a vine, 
and run it into the facility where this is basically I guess going to beat the, the hops off of the vine. Alright, they're going to run up this conveyor belt and then be packaged into bales. And then they're going to be stacked here. Meanwhile, the organic waste is going to come out the pipe and go out over here. And then we can use this organic waste, obviously, to make compost. We have a storage facility over here for 100 hop bales. So I've got 50,000 hop bales right here. And when you unload the storage, they unload over here. So it's kind of interesting. But there is something you can do. So here you go to manipulate the storage. Okay. And we've, we've made even more bales spawn over here. Let's see if we can't do this a few more times. All right, so we basically, yeah, we filled that up now, okay? And you'll see down here it says that we have 73 of 100. Well, if we just shift slightly to the right of that icon, the now helper text says switch storage to hop production. So if I left click, now my hop capacity instantly went from 73 to 94. That is because all of the hop bales that were over here were instantly teleported over here. Why is this not a thing in the game? Right? I mean, right? Why not a thing in the game? Right? So I've switched it back. It's real quick. Right? Switch to hop production and storage. When it's switched to hop production, the little pallet icon flies over there as opposed to being over here. Oh my gosh, why is this not a thing? Am I the only one that thinks that's the most awesomest thing ever? You all must be dumbfounded because chat has died completely with that statement. While we're waiting for you all to recover, I'll just talk real quick about the overlay I put up. We are still raising funds. This will probably be our last live stream to raise funds for No Kid Hungry. We've got a goal of $350. We've raised 300 at this point over the month. Last night we participated with Giants and No Kid Hungry in a live stream over at the Giants Twitch channel. I tried to live stream it here too, but we ran into technical difficulties and I had to shut this stream down because I had to go and stream from a system that had a working camera. Rather annoying that I had to have a working camera even though I wasn't using a camera just to basically integrate my audio in with everyone else. But at any rate, we couldn't do a coinciding live stream, but that was a very good success. And I'd like to wrap up the month of March with our own little campaign. Any money that we raise goes straight to the No Kid Hungry campaign itself. So let's just leave that there. We have the ability of transporting chickens now with the Hoff Bergman trailer. What is this? Oh, I know what this is. I know what this is. We're not going to talk about it until after nine o'clock. That's when the boys and girls go to bed and we can start talking about more adult topics.
We play it on PC. This map is not released on console. Well, there's not here. Here's not there. I'm super eager to try something out after 9 because I haven't tried it out myself. Whereas another thing they're going to show off at 9, I've already done. So it's a little less exciting. Technically, there is everywhere, and here is here. Marineo! Marineo! Thank you uh, for subbing. Cavalier Roy is here. Hey, I hope you enjoyed your Friday night breakfast. I have every intention of being there next Friday. Like I was just saying, last night I was occupied with a charity live stream for Giants. We tried to do it earlier in the month, but Kermit's, Kermit's bandwidth, his internet failed him. So the hop facility we were just at is right across the street from the spinnery. Which is just north of Field Pitten. Well, that's our goal here at the channel, is that we just have a lot of fun on Fridays and Sunday nights. Tomorrow night is Convoy Night with American Truck Sim. We just call it flat out trucking. Pony Express, and we we accentuate the the express part of that. I mean, it would be handy if, like, there was another bay here that we could go into, park beside those things. Like I said, I think it's way, I mean, we make a lot of hop bales. And you get a ton of money for these things. For the minimal amount of effort it is to to get these things. And we're making use of the universal auto load mod that is available with Giants Mod Hub. No, nope. all right, that's fine. Twenty-two thousand liters of hops. Hop, hopperific. And if we own the brewery, 
we can use these at our own brewery for the process of making beer. But we really don't go through that many hops in that process. So you're going to be selling most of the hops you make at the sell point. Oh yeah, that would be good. Although I think maybe those bollards are might run into a little issue with that. Because when you unload those bales, they just they just they go everywhere. Right? They just kind of drop in. Uh, we missed our turn. area around the farm has been reworked a little bit to make way for a new production facility. Oh. <laughs> uh, we have $18 million cheated in and it is 10.28 a.m. one time speed in September. You will need a new save game if you are moving from 1.3 to 1.4 because there are pretty significant changes to the map itself. There are changes to map or to field boundaries. There are new building areas added and so forth. I have missed my turn a little bit away make this work. Alright, so let's show you what the, the hops are going to pay out. That's on hard mode, $4,000 per thousand liters. If you play on easy, well, you got easy money. Because we're talking about twelve thousand dollars per thousand liters, and it's two bales to make a thousand liters. We got twenty-two thousand liters here, so twelve times twenty-two is what your profit would have been. Oh, look at that money just roll up! You can't tell. I'll tell you what I make. It does take a little while to unload these. But you'll see when we get back how many bales have already been made just with that one load that we delivered, which is just two rows of hops. So we have sold almost half. Because we're nearly down to 11,000. We 
And again, we're on hard. And we made 40, 43 thousand dollars that's a four and a three then an eight and a two and a four forty three thousand eight hundred dollars and we're not done Well, we got another update for Riverview. Nice. So I guess we had 44 bales. 44 times 500 would be 22,000, right? And another 43,000, so that would be um, 90 some thousand dollars worth of profit for hauling one large trailer load of hop bales on hard economy. Turn around here. Let me show you how many hot bales are are made since we last loaded. It's almost like a whole new map. I know some folks that have some uh, some fond memories of Riverview in nineteen. We did a multiplayer challenge on that map. Now, when I say fond memories, I think they basically told me they would never be on Riverview again. Because, um, well, they did way too much forestry. Smooth operator. Wait. Five are showing. Let's move it over here. Ninety-five. Let's click. We're at a hundred. Uh, let's unload. Now we're eighty-eight again. Ninety. All right. So that was seven. Again, way, way too easy. way too easy to make hop bales make hop hop money ah uh, let's see here let's roll back to decide what we're going to talk about before well for the next 20 minutes if 
before we start talking about more more mature topics. No, we're not starting a challenge. We're talking about the challenge we had in 19 on uh, Riverview. Former G, what's up? Be like that. Well, Optimus just don't like to read things. You'd be surprised how far you get in life without actually reading anything. G, thank you, sir. I thought you were congratulating me on my on my getting through life without reading something. <laughs> but then I realized what it was. Thank you for the donation. Put us over the top or right at the limit. Now met our goal. Can we exceed our goal for a perfectly good cause? No kid hungry. Once again, for anyone who hasn't watched the live stream this month, No Kid Hungry is a charitable organization that strives to end childhood hunger here in the United States. We have so many programs that focus on hungry children and hungry people outside the United States. But you know what? We need to focus on ourselves also. Still, I'm going the wrong way. It's been way too long since I've been on the map. Be it after school programs, summer programs. Every dollar donated helps feed it or helps with 10 meals. Once you expand things out to scale. Uh, I think we're going to try to put this in that. Uh, see if I can't dump this organic waste in that compost thing I made. Schultz. What is up? What is up? How many of you have uh, 
have started your Hoff Bergman 1.4 adventure. Do tell, do tell. Sim Canuck, good evening. There we go. Let's take this to the farm and see how much that little uh, composter holds. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Would you, would you, jeez. It's like you got someplace important to go. Come on, DHL, get out of my way. Yeah, that is a lot of organic waste. I think I've only hauled like five loads down there. Langer, good evening. Gonna miss our turn this time. Let's see how much how much this little thing holds. Probably like like a thousand liters. I don't know. Uh, that's a lot more than I thought. So we've already made three liters of compost. So it holds 10,000 Letries compost. I uh, know this is all kind of a small factor for this trailer. Gregory, what's up? ATS, it will be ATS tomorrow night. I 
And this is a composting bunker. That's not new, it's been around for a few versions. get some cows in here hello moo cows ah right, yeah there you go that's it's nice to meet you all it's a pleasure to meet you ladies ah oh, taking a break is perfectly fine I think you do need to do some Stingo player runs to cover your multiplayer expenses. It'd be kind of expensive. David, good morning. in here oh you've only got your own truck Once you start adding additional trucks, the uh, the grind becomes a little less. So, David, we're waiting until nine o'clock, and then we're going to run down through everything and demonstrate a couple more of a couple of the uh, uh, more notable changes which are also maybe a little bit on the mature side, if you will. Of course, I know that it's not nine o'clock everywhere. But, you know, we can, we can do our best. Now, we've showed off a couple things, but we really haven't talked about anything, you know, with any great um, particularity. I've got a summary video coming out tomorrow morning that will wrap it all up in about 15, 16 minutes. Well, that didn't take long. Yeah, once you get enough drivers, it's like you can't you can't spend money fast enough. Because they just you just earn it so quick. So one thing that is new is there are bale storages scattered around the farms and the other new areas. All the bale storages make use of farm ID one, which in single player isn't a big deal because in single player, everything is farm ID one. But in multiplayer, if let's say a second farm owns the chicken area well then 
they will not own the bales in that bale storage area because that's going to be oh look at that i caught it because that's going to be tied to farm id one so it's important to understand in multiplayer that some things have been hard coded to farm id one Take two more and then we'll then we'll get on with the program. I'm hoping we see uh what is it? What's next? Is Nebraska next? I'm hoping we see Nebraska in the next month or so. What's up? Okay. Oh, shoot. All right, let's run down through what is new in 1.4. At least a, a quick summary. So we have new street textures, more terrain angles have been added with respect to multi-terrain angle the organic waste texture has been changed we've already seen that the saw area was removed from the farm so a couple versions ago there was a stationary small wood chipper that was here and some decorative elements that was geared around forestry and sawing and things that's now been removed from here it's now just storage a farm shop has been added we already talked about that a little bit and that is for selling of products that you can make both here at the farm and at other areas clover fermented has been removed from the feed mix for your cows so now they take tmr silage hay clover hay and hay pellets Grass and clover or milk. Uh, the area around the farm has been rebuilt somewhat. We've already talked about bale storages scattered around the various farms are going to be tied to farm ID one. Fields two, five and six have been slightly reworked. So two, five and six have been reworked a little bit. So the cold storage that is in here at the farm has been reworked to, <coughs> to basically make use of the standard Giants storage as opposed to the GTS or GTX storage script. And as such, now it holds eggs, packed eggs, cheese, goat cheese, butter, strawberries, grapes, lettuce, tomatoes, cucumbers, cauliflower, potato sacks, Apples, onions, UHT milk, wine boxes, grape juice that's been packaged, 
pork, beef, poultry, sheep, and goat, and chicken meat. So all of your animal meat. Boxed beer and palleted beer. Fish, smoked fish, cherries, carrots, and spies, spies eye, whatever that is. Spies out. Spiesel. Whatever. The slaughterhouse now, well, now produces meat. So in the previous version, if you brought meat to the slaughterhouse, all you would get out of it was basically animal skins. Take down to the canning facility to make leather. But now you're also going to get beef, pork, horse, poultry, sheep, and rabbit meat. Which means you now can take your rabbits somewhere and get meat from them. In fact, I've already done that. Um, slaughterhouse. So right here we have pallets of rabbit meat. Potatoes have been added to the gardens, as we've talked about here at the main farm. The community garden has a composting facility where we bring organic waste. That organic waste can be grass, hay, eggs, strawberries, grapes, lettuce, tomatoes, cucumbers, cauliflowers, potatoes, apples, onions, manure, Organic waste, compost, all can be put into here and it will all turn to compost. And we also have a placeable variant of that under tools. We have a garden composter for $100. Basically, we add various organic waste inputs and it produces compost over time. We also have these hose system hookups, which I believe are new. I don't think they were part of 1.3. Maybe they were, and I just didn't know about it. But this is for the large manure hoses for the LSFM hose system. So you place this in the trigger, and then you pull up your trailer, and then you can connect the hose if the liquid hookup doesn't already support it. Hops. We've already demonstrated hops, but hops have been added to the game or to the map. Now these hops cannot be planted anywhere else. They just reside up here, just above the cherry orchard. And we're going to basically collect those hops with this special trailer that is included with the map pack. And as we have demonstrated, we go down and up one row and we have a full load of hop vines we take those hop vines to a new production point down across the street from the spinnery north of field 10 to then take the hops off the vines and that's where we get also a bunch of organic waste as a result and then we make hop bales the hop bales can then be used at our brewery for the brewing process, or they can be sold directly behind the brewery. And well, you get some pretty darn good money. We sold 44 hop bales earlier and made nearly $90,000. Liam, yes, this update is out. I posted a community post yesterday about it being released this morning we posted a video on how to download and extract the map properly so there we've got our full load of hop vines Now we'll take this over to our hop production. Uh, we're hop 
off you saying hops. Have you not heard me say the word hop like 10 times in the last minute? Using, making use of this trailer which is been configured for the harvest and transport of the hops you're gonna be able to find that under tools and then hop technology or techniques as it is listed I've completely missed my turn. We're just going to cut across the field. And this trailer unloads just like the, uh, just like the module trailer for cotton. There we go. Really need animation. Where we pick up a vine and run it into this machine. Then have the hops running up the conveyor belt and going into a bag. Then the bags are going to pile up over here. We also have hop storage over here. And we can configure the hop storage to basically have it so that production dumps right over here, or we just have it separate. We talked about that already in a little bit. Now let's talk about our first, our first adult topic. It's hard to believe that chickens are an adult topic, but they are kind of. Five Gen Farms, what's up? What's up? Robert, what's this? How long does it take to bag up bales of grass or hay? Are you talking about wrapping them? Wrapping bales of grass and hay? I don't, I mean, it takes a while. I don't know, I don't, I've never counted it to know if it's 20 seconds per bale or whatever. Up here at the chicken area, right? Side field 24, a new building has been added. Building D. Building D accepts chickens different than all the other buildings. Buildings A, B, and C accept the standard chickens. Chicks, chickens, roosters, ducks, and ducklings. They produce eggs and reproduce. They take straw, they take their food, they produce manure. That's pretty standard. The eggs have been changed to be these wonderful manual trays of eggs that you're going to have to transport over to this building and this building will basically once we turn it on it will put these eggs into a box and then ultimately into a pallet We have cold storage where we can store the eggs in here. And we can store something else in there as well. 
And for that, we need to come back here to this new building. These new chickens, named Chicken, very conveniently, at least they have a different icon to them. They are for the sole purpose of meat. These chickens will also reproduce, but they reproduce slower. So they, let's get this box out of here. So the meat chickens have a gestation period of 10 months and puberty of 18 months. Whereas the normal chickens have a gestation period of two months and puberty of six months. All right, once we have our meat chickens in this convenient transport box for chickens, which we find here in the mods and DLCs of the shop under Hoff of Bergman, we have transport box for chickens. We'll need one of those. And we'll need transport box for chickens, $85. Now, first, disclaimer. If you are remotely squeamish with the idea that you take a live chicken and basically convert it into edible meat, then go find something else to watch. While it's not super graphic, it doesn't really hide much, this process. I was a little surprised when I saw it earlier today when I recorded the video that's going to come out on Tuesday. With that said, here we go. All right, you're going to bring your, your crate over here and drop it next to <laughs> this fabulous machine. Chicken processing step one. R, we're going to unload our chickens into step one. Ta-da, we have done that. And now our crate is empty. And here we go. We're gonna turn it on. And now we we spin and our chickens are, well, the life force is flowing out of them as we speak. And this takes a little bit of time, but not a lot. We're gonna speed it up a little bit. Oh, look, it's done. Now, we're gonna take one of these that we had to buy. We only need one. We're gonna walk up here and it's a little temperamental, but we will eventually get a start filling. We'll hit R and now we have a bunch of uh, non-living chickens. And we're gonna put it in step two and get it back over there. So now we're gonna turn on the soaking machine and we can shut the lid if we want, but it's, it's more fun to watch. And well, this is going to uh, rotate the chickens around in the water for a period of time. Again, it doesn't take long. We'll just speed it up a little bit. And when the process is done, it turns itself off. Once again, we grab our tray. We bring it over here. And we fiddle with it until we get the, the unload. Start filling here. And now we have our clean chickens and we put them in there. And well, what do you think this does? Hmm. Uh, let's just say, you ever heard of a salad spinner? Well, this is a chicken spinner. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's hilarious. I'm sorry, this does not get old. And we just spin our chickens for a period of time. And we want to, you know, want to get a close-up of that? Oh, we. Okay. Oh, boy. I don't know the exact numbers, Robert. It's just, it's basically the same, I guess. These level of details, I don't pay attention to. You feed them, you feed them food, and they eat. How many liters per chicken of food they consume is, is not a, a thing I pay attention to. 
Chickens lay eggs as long as they're fed properly. Overnight. And now that we are done spinning our chickens. <laughs> yes. Oh, this is a thing. Heaven forbid. All right, we, t we take our tray back over here and we look for the magic start filling. And now we have a bunch of deep feathered chickens. We present them to our sink. And now we are, I guess, I don't know. Cleaning them out, deheading them, and doing all that fun jazz. And once we have enough chickens, we'll have little trays spawn over here. That's our chicken, chicken processing. And we can only do the meat chickens in that building. We can't take regular chickens and run them through that facility. Because these chickens... They make poultry meat. You have to take those to the butcher or the slaughterhouse. This is the only building that will accept the meat chickens. And if we look here at our animal menu, uh, they're basically listed as broiler chickens versus regular chickens. Why they weren't named broiler chickens, it sure would be nice not to have chicken and chicken because then it gets a little confusing. But at any rate, broiler chickens go in here. They are processed over there. You cannot take broiler chickens to the slaughterhouse or to the butcher. And with that, we come to here. Bull juice is back, everybody. Bull juice is back. So bulls have been split out from regular cows at this point. We have young bulls and old bulls. You'll see the young bulls are more valuable. Well, that is because these are the studs. The studs. And as such, they are valuable. These studs, well, they produce, they produce the most of the bulls. And we're going to bring those studs over here. And we're going to bring four studs to the extraction room. Disclaimer, I have not done this. I have a zero idea what this might look like. Let's say just a little disclaimer here. All right, so bolts, total mixed ration, silage, hay, clover, hay, hay pellets, grass, and clover. That's what they're going to take. There is bale storage over here. This is going to be tied to form ID 1. There's bale storage up at the chicken coop also. That's again tied to form ID 1. And inside here we have, well, what we call the, the uh, juice extraction area. Maybe. Maybe for lack of a better term. We have a fridge where we can store the extraction. And we have a cart, which we can use to um, to wheel our juice around. If you will. Now, how all this works, I honestly don't know. But I don't think I want to be over here when it happens. It may just take time. It may just do it over time. Let's speed up the clock and find out what happens. What's this say? 
I can't read German. Uh, maybe it's because they have zero health. They're not. Uh, they're not willing to produce. Here, we'll go take care of that. Robert, thank you. Thank you very much. M9, we got kittens at the farm. We don't need you to have any. And by the way, no, no chickens or bulls were harmed in the production of this video. They get awful excited when it's meal time. boys you know what time it is uh, there's an area for food in here I don't know how you're supposed to feed these guys, but okay, let's let's uh, let's move them back. Give him a little straw. Um, I didn't really want to do that, but okay. Thought I was getting round bales, but all right. Let's go sleep overnight and get these guys healthy. Then we'll see what happens. See, we got kittens. We don't need Peter to have any. Retios forming. What's up? No new space for... Oh, all right. Oh, goody. Our bulls are very happy. Good for them. Good for them.
Do we have something over here? I thought we had something over here. All right, let's early in the morning in October. It's it's a good day. It's a good day to move our animals to the extraction room. So get to work. Oh, there's one in there. Watch out what happens. Ah, uh, the bed's about the same as it was before, I guess. Uh, what are you gonna do, buddy? What? Uh oh. Um. Um. Are you are you gonna go over there? Are you kind of shy. Are you shy, dude? So that does open. My guess is it's just time. not time oh. all right uh let's let's get really annoying chicken message That's the only thing I've yet to figure out on the map is the bull stuff. So we'll do this for a little bit. So with respect to bulls, Bulls have been split up, they're, so they're no longer the same as all the other cows. They're their own independent fill type. There is a purchasable bull breeding area near Farm 1, which we've already bought. Up to four bulls can be in the juicing hall at a time. Uh, there is a refrigerator where you can put the juice with a small cart uh, during removal the trolley is filled visually and all right let's see here. Let's... so the the wording says during removal the trolley is filled with visually transport buckets if you now want to have individual buckets you can unload the hand cart Or, now this is maybe a byproduct of German translation. For technical reasons, this detour is unfortunately necessary to get the individual containers, okay? The buckets can be sold at Caltrade. Unloading point is located at the first building, yeah. Added bowl storage. So, I don't really know.
Water from the Witch's Farm 3. Is that the farm up by the slaughterhouse? Is that what you're calling Farm 3? Turn that back on. Farm three. Water. You talking about this? What are you talking about this? So it probably is going to require this. somewhere around here I think we do oh yes So it's probably going to be this. You have to open the lid with in. And then go up to the water trigger and hit R to fill. That's what I would guess. Let's see if this comes with me. Oh, it does. There you go. Not that hard. Then we'll take it over here and water these chickens. So the buckets usually just are spigots. So like this. So the buckets usually fill from spigots. But it's quite possible that they could fill from there too. Oh, 
Alright, um... Oh, wait, where... Where did I get one liter from? See what these did. Oh no, somehow I have one liter of of juice. Maybe it's just a thing where it's over time. see any way of feeding these guys. Oh, uh, do they take straw? No. Chuck a bale over there, what they do. What do they want? Uh, silage. We'll take silage. silage has been removed as far as an animal feed so we have clover clover hay clover silage yes so we can make clover silage we just don't need to feed over silage. That's what I would think is you move them over here and do their business, but I don't see how you do their business other than it just they just do it over time. There's like no turn on, there's no activate. And they they don't show up here. So let's look here. Yeah, it's not here either, so... Oh, 
We have butter cheese, garden, composter, smoke house, storage, allotment gardens, beehives, fishing areas, tannery, hop beer production, rainwater, fruit trees, gardens, chicken steps, slaughterhouse, pig food mixer, Malt factory. Yeah, so they're technically not a production. So my only guess is it just makes makes it over time. So we've got one liter from somewhere. So let's go and Go and sleep again. See what happens. It makes sense that it doesn't happen fast and it doesn't happen um, a lot because it is pretty valuable. We now have seven liters. Um, can I load? So that one's got two, that one's got five. Five liters. Uh, cryo, cryogenic, gen, cryogenic. Gloves and face shield are required. It says cold burns something 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 All right oh no we can't we can't check our our valuable juice away You know what? Yeah, this calls for a special delivery. And our bicycle. Whoa, I don't get dizzy. What, you don't break food when you do the deed? Oh, come on. You're missing out. You're missing out. Don't drink and drive a bike at the same time. All right, we gotta go to the animal dealer.
See how much water money we get for seven liters of juice. Uh, this is steak shake. I don't know about that. on the road again. Hometown Grub, huh? Is this the perfect sauce for the Rocky Mountain oysters? Our tannery or leather guy to sell the leather. That's quite an involved process, also. Hey, watch out! I have valuable juice. I don't want to spill any. Let's see what two liters of juice gets me. 20 bucks. What? 50 bucks. Oh, man. Really? I only get $10 a liter of juice? I thought I'd get more than that. Yep, basically ten dollars a liter. Let's see what the butcher has to say. Okay, he's open. Uh, here's my chicken. Poultry meat. Looks a lot like my chicken meat. We got some serious studs in there. moving through town.
a thousand dollars. Willkommen im Dorfladen. Hello to you too. Thank you for buying my chickens. Oh, you've already got them up here. I wish we could make Fanta. That would be cool. So it's a little less dramatic than, let's say, Farm Sim 19, where I think it was a bit more animated, the juicing process. So it's not necessarily a bad thing, it's just apparently it's going to take lots of days to collect lots of juice. Maybe if there's a fall update or an autumn update, then we will have the insemination capability. We had that 19 where we could basically take our juice and load our cows into a special chute. And then we would bring a doctor in to glove up and uh, oh there we got our compost so a couple months went by and now we have 10,000 liters of compost I wonder if we just pull up beside it and can pull it out I mean, it, clearly I don't think we're going to be using a bucket Yep, that works. Then we can take our compost and sell it. Use it on our fields. Or use it in the garden. So we have water in here because it rained. Okay. So since it rained, we don't have to water our garden because, well, we already have water. And if we come over here to our community garden, beside our compost, we have this. And earlier tonight, this was not full of water. But since it rained, this now has collected water. And there's a bucket up here somewhere. And now we can use this bucket to draw water out. And then we use that on our garden. Nothing needs water because it just recently rained.
wonder if we can get through there. Let's go find out. And then that's what we're going to do to close out the night. So guys, that is basically a rundown on Hoff Bergman 1.4. Over the next several days, we will have dedicated videos coming out specific to 1.4 tomorrow. We're going to have a summary video drop that summarizes the what is new in 1.4. We don't go into any great detail on any one specific thing, but we do cover everything. And then on Monday, we will have a video drop related to hops, a deeper dive into hops. Tuesday, we'll have a deeper dive into chickens. Wednesday, we'll have a deeper dive into bulls. And that will probably close it out for the Hoff Bergman explained updates for 1.4. is a grapes here we go activate grapes and we need our we need our crate or apples that and have that over at our community garden hope everyone has a safe and fun Easter tomorrow night we'll be back on FK's Funhouse channel for our Sunday night convoy night we skipped convoy night last week because we were in Boston attending PAX or PAX had just wrapped up and we drove back from Boston Monday. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. Didn't have a whole lot of views on it. Then Monday we'll be back, I guess, doing Hoff Bergman, unless something happens with respect to a map drop on the Giants Mod Hub. And until next time, happy farming.